get hyped, get angry with it. 0161, man in the map, get me. You're back in the kit lab with your boy AK. Listen, today is the start of a new era between Pure Football and Man City as you look at the new home jersey for the 1920 season. You lot ready? Let's go. So it's fitting, on their 125th year anniversary, Man City and Puma join forces in what's a new era for the club. Now, it was kind of obvious, last season they signed David Silva, they signed Vincent Company as players to wear their Puma boots, and uh, Aguero is their talisman, so only makes sense. But Puma have said that they want to establish a real true connection with the fans, both Mancunians and globally as well. So how does the kit do that? So it's no surprise that the 2019-20 home kit draws inspiration from the city's industrial heritage. And in particular, you've got the jacquard woven waves here that go across the shirt and they represent the true grit, fight and character that was built in the cotton mills. The 1920 home jersey to begin with has a regular fit, so in terms of dropping it as a lifestyle option, it's perfect. The shirt features a v-neck collar, which sits comfortably with a well-measured drop point. As classic as a v-neck may be, Puma have managed to still create a modern feel for it, which I think is great. Now, both the Puma Cat logo on the right of the chest and the Man City badge on the left of the chest are woven on, creating a bit more premium feel. Of course, Etihad is still the main club sponsor, so their logo is heat pressed onto the centre of the jersey. Next and Tyre, who also sponsor Man City, have their graphic positions on the left sleeve. Across each shoulder of the shirt, you'll find the form strips, which contain further Puma branding. Lastly, the material, a double-knit jersey with dry soil technology. The tech enables moisture to be wicked away from the fabric, helping to keep you dry and comfortable. There you have it guys, so this is the start of the journey for Man City and Puma Football. Now I'm excited to see where it actually goes. They've invested a lot in terms of redesigning the stadium, the club shop, of course, and they're looking at making sure the women's team get as much coverage as the men's team, which is very important going up the back of this World Cup as well. Let me know what you think about the kits in the comment section below. Other than that, I'm AK signing out. Peace.